<laughs> hey, where's Bad Pat Cooper? Taste. Like this whole show is. Let okay. me bring Pat Cooper in, and we'll uh, take a break. Let me just uh, say hi to him. I don't want to keep him sitting out there. All right. Before you know it, he'll be screaming about me. <laughs> Who told you that? 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 Get in here. I love you. you Sit down. What is this? Yeah, I know. You got to take Who a shave. Who told you that? Uh, See, Gordon Liddy, ABC, DEF, and ABC. Well, I'm what fighting for my life here. That's all. Right. Um, Governor, you're looking great. Thank you. He's giving out teach. Uh, Pat Cooper T-shirts. Looking great, Governor. Invite me to the mansion. I will. Listen, Pat, I got to take a break. I just want to get you in here. Sit down. Relax. Sit down. Well, sit down. Sir, calm down. Let me sit down on my own. What All right. Sit down. And uh, we're going to do the news with Pat when we come back. All right. Right, right after these words. Anyway, uh, hey, did you see this? Um, I was talking earlier about this movie. Are we on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bro. The best part of this here movie is not only Sylvester Stallone, but the... Um, what movie are you talking about? This is... This guy Wesley Snipes, he bl he's, he's in everything. This he, guy. he has blonde hair in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he looks the demolition good as a man. blonde. Yeah. He's in everything. Demolition man. He's in every. This guy works every every, every two hours. He gets oh, to make some. Wesley Snipes. Yeah, he's in everything. Yeah, he's in everything. What do you regret? No, 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 no. I no. told you not to say that. <laughs> well, you do me a favor. I what? want to know why is he every everything? Everything you turn around, I got this guy about ninety four pictures. I don't know. He's the only black actor, Wesley Snipes. No, that's what gets me crazy. There's a lot right. of great black actors out there. Yeah, they can't really get they can't get arrested. But this guy, I, for some reason, they got him in everything. Everything he's in, this guy. You do the life of Rex Harrison, I hear. Yeah. Whatever happened to? Uh, what's his name? Denzel? No, not Denzel. Who? De Sidney Poitier. Clarence Thomas the Third. Clarence Williams. He's in jail, isn't he? Yeah, Clarence Williams III. <laughs> you don't even remember Clarence Thomas as the Supreme Court judge. Yeah, what happened to Clarence Thomas the Third, <laughs> the Supreme Court judge? <laughs> what happened to him? He was good. Yeah, right. Why isn't he in a movie with well, his hair dyed blonde? I can't. Wesley Snipes is all over the place. Listen, right? all I know is actor. you got Wesley Snipes. Uh -huh. and, um, I don't know if you saw this movie. Wesley Snipes, Sylvester Stallone. You like you action? I, 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 I liked him in that mountain movie, Stallone. That was good. But did you, 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 you like action? I don't like when they start blowing up each other. I get lost. Oh, no. You, you know what it is? No, 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 no. I don't want no hand grenades and everything. I want to go there and, you know, calm down. I'm a nervous wrecker. This is not. I, gotta I don't want. I like excitement. I like excitement. Stallone, if Stallone, see, Stallone is good for that. He gets blown up. I, I saw Rocky four, seven times. Right. That's the only thing I like. Rocky two, Rocky well, You would like this. You would like this because uh, Wesley Snipes. Yeah. He's got blonde hair. I know. Right, so yeah. He goes into the future okay. with yeah. Sylvester Stallone. Absolutely. And there they begin to kill each other. He's the enemy, right? And they're trying to kill each other, except they kill everyone else. Well, naturally. They what can't else? hit anything. Uh, they they, they keep missing else. everyone. It's like some politicians right. I know, so what else is there? Right. <laughs> anyway, it's a good futuristic oh, action thriller. I like it. And uh, it also stars a sexy Sandra Bullock, who, uh, Robin, I know uh, you like. Wow. Well, she's been around. She's oh. making the uh, rounds now. Demolition yeah. Man. Easy to order on pay-per-view tonight. You ever order a movie oh, on pay-per-view? Excuse me, is this a commercial? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. What do you think he's just telling you about no, a movie? I, thought, I said I couldn't understand. All of a sudden, you talk about Wesley Snipes being a blonde. I'm saying, who the hell cares? Like, I'm oh, because <laughs> I'm being paid to do this. Oh, okay. As long as you get a few dollars, I yeah. make my living. You have yeah, your own hair I may, color I may, problem. I may rent it out tonight. No. Right. <laughs> you sell macaroni posters. Oh, and I, I sell. Uh, I, don't, I don't sell. Ho ho. Okay. Back okay. Ho 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 ho. ho. I don't oh, sell. Oh ho 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 ho. Back off. Ho ho ho. Back off. I don't sell anything. I give you something. I don't sell it. Thank you. I'm not a peddler. Demolition Man <laughs> is easy to order on pay-per-view tonight it and all through easy. the month of May. Even what do you mean I easy to order? Why do you press a button you order? Yeah. You make it like a big speech, they get a put 94 No, 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 no. You I press a BPP and you I have order. never Howard ordered. is intimidated. I'm intimidated by it. I don't order pay-per-view. I'm going to try I don't it. order nothing. I saw your pay-per-view. I want to discuss this. Yeah, hold on. I want to discuss it. It's marvelous. So Thank so you. It's, one of, it's going to be in what are called the capsules. Well, of course. <laughs> time capsule? Yeah, what capsule. Do <laughs> capsule. What do I know about capsule? Check your local listings for dates and times in your ear. It's all this month on pay-per-view. It is Demolition Man. Wow. Thank you. Only. It's Sunday only. Sunday you like. I don't need Muhammad Khalil. When you're here? I'm still in a com I'm not here. I'm on the air now. <laughs> Notice I'm staying away. I'm All, right. Your balls. All right. Don't rub don't bust my balls. Hey, uh, Pat Cooper's here at Westbury Music Fair, May 21st. Oh, yeah? He don't know when he's on. <laughs> May 21st and 22nd at the Westbury Music Fair. You Connie go Francis. See. With Connie Francis. Oh, I got to go see that show. Oh, Connie. How, awesome. how is she? She's doing great. She's is she, which way is she singing? Out to the audience? No, no, or no, 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 Connie. <laughs> Connie's in the round. Once you're in the round, she has to take care of everybody. Now, what, now what is going on? You're in the square. You're interested. She's, uh, you know, she's singing. She's had, uh, you know, she had physical problems. Who's wackier? You or Connie? Me. I'm wackier than all of you. You're right. Now, <laughs> Connie Francis, as you know. She had her hair lanced. <laughs> as you know, Connie Francis is a singer. 
And oh, she was yeah. one of the most popular singers years ago. She still That's is. right. No, no, she's not anymore. Well, you see, that, 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 that there's a Connie Francis honest. cult out there. But yeah, there's people who like her. But we're talking about the years that she was a recording star. Well, that's all star. over. The 50s are over. 60s is over to the world happened? out there. Connie, like, wigged out, right? Okay. No, no, she got she she got raped and everything it was a very sad after situation. After she got raped, she wigged out. She wigged out. Okay, I, I mean, which is understandable. That's right. understandable. Is right. I mean, it's that's sad. And what happened? She started she doing wacky started things. Doing no, no, some wacky wasn't. things and saying she, things about people and wandering around. Well, and she stuff got like she got that. very very tremid. Wasn't she, she anti Dick Clark for a while? Yeah, she started screaming about Dick Clark. She was that Clark Kent. What the hell do I know? She's anti. Everybody was her enemy. And and she's she says she's okay now. She's on the lithium now. Is she on lithium? Yeah, she was. I don't know if she's still on it. Uh, do I don't, don't get near don't get her, her if she's does. not on it. All I do is I'm trying to clean fish <laughs> once in a while. And do you, you ever, do you, do you hang out with her after the show? I don't hang out with no one. I'm do a you ever, do you ever? But do you ever see her? Do I you? see her all the time. I love her. I kiss her. I hug her. Because, because she's been a friend of mine for years. And I know the situation better than most people. Right. And I adore her. Was she mad at you at one point? Because Never. when mad she went... No. Nah, what are going to be mad at me for? I'm a pussy. I don't bother nobody. What are going to be mad at me for? What? I'm home making a pussy cat. You're a pussy cat. I swear to God. I don't hit nobody. I don't yell at nobody. I mind my business. Okay. Do I bother you? Let me ask you a question. Did you always say to me on the air, I can come on here anytime I want to? You say yes, to me, I did. Do I take advantage of it? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's your point? <laughs> So oh Robin, boy. <laughs> wait a second. Oh boy. So wait what are you trying to say? Yeah. What do you think you're here now? You think we wanted you? You're taking advantage. That's all. I beg, I beg. All right. Listen to me. Uh. So you were saying, Robin, she wouldn't stand. She wouldn't look at the audience for a while. Oh, you know, she just she would get in the middle of a show and not know what to do, yeah, and you really? know, because like not, everything would be I bad. Because I think the medicine affected her, but she's fine now. Now she's fine, and her voice sounds good. Didn't so she say her nose job took all the voice? Did. I don't know. She had a nose job. We're gonna get hit with things on the set. Why do I? You think I? I, I study people's noses. I gotta, I, I'm not going to pay my rent and die. I don't know, I don't know anything All about it. All I want to do is die after I pay my rent. I'm just what asking you. You're involved. This is I an interesting story. I don't say story. in their dressing room. I don't ask them their personal business. I don't ask them who they go out with. I don't give a damn. Does, she still, right does she still wear a duck outfit? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't know, but I do hear quack quacks once in a while in the I dressing room. All right, all right. Anyway, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't wear it. She never wore it. No, she never wore it. Very beautiful yeah. woman. She is. And what about you? The two of you not romantically linked? We always were. Yeah. I made love to her in a gondola. What do you want from my life? Is she still married or no? I have no idea. I don't no, ask. she is I not. She is my not. Business. I want to do it totally. I want to pay my bills. All right, so you'll be there at the Westbury. Also, you'll be at the Westchester Broadway Theater yeah, in Elmsford yeah. on June 26th and 27th. Right. And let's mention you also did a pilot for ABC called Believe It or Not with right. uh, Dean Stockwell. Oh, yeah, nice man. Mm. And maybe, now, if this pilot is picked I up by ABC. I think they bought 13 already. I'm oh, really? not sure. So, you I know thought you I didn't sure? want that. When the lawyer called me yesterday, I want to know why I didn't sign my contract. So I, I, I thought you don't want that. No, no, this, but no, see, this is not memorizing lines. This is none of that. They told me. Here's the subject matter. Go. And they're right. going to tape me. So I taped three segments already. It's going to be very funny. I, really? They gave me a chance to What talk, show is it? Is it a no, sitcom? No, believe it or not, with Jack Palance many years ago. Believe it or not? Yeah. Like you know, Ripley's Ripley, Believe It or yeah, Not? That's, no, no. Ernie Durandos, Believe It or Not. Of course. What right, I right. And yeah, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Are you, what is this here? Jeopardy? I don't understand. No, what are you doing? Are you going to do a Believe It or Not? Yes. Yeah, so in other words, I say, Pat, what do you think of such and such and such? And then I come out and I say, this is what I think about it. Then I go back in my cocoon. Yeah. And then they ask me again. I come out again. Oh, that's it? That's, that's going to be a what show on ABC? What is the difference? I can't believe it. What do you want me to do? I can't believe that's going to be a show. I tell you right now, they offer me a series, I'll turn it down. I don't want to work that hard. I'm right. You watch. Birthday. All Just I want to like do is pay uh, my bills and die. Do you America's Funniest English? Home Video yeah. will be a number what one hit. You me think so? <laughs> I'm trying to help what you out talking here. Over me She's for? saying something nice about it. I don't need help. I'm trying to get this guy over here to, to understand right, my... Listen, why don't, you, why, don't you, why don't you calm down for a second? Why don't you calm down and relax, and I'll uh, I'll say something. <laughs> what is she talking over me for? <laughs> <laughs> nobody pa could get a word in edgewise. <laughs> Pat, I want to try and do the news right now. I'll You're do whatever you want. I'm happy to be. I'm happy to be anywhere. Hey, we love you. Pat Cooper is here. He's legendary. Everyone knows. A very funny comic. Thank you. Wonderful man. Am and I funny than Jackie Mason? Because you made a statement a couple Why? of months ago. No, no. Why would you, you ask me that? You called him the best in the world, and Wait I said I challenged that. No, hold you it. Called him Howard, I challenged that. I will be on Pat's side now. You didn't mention Pat in your book, did you? Yes, I did. Yes, he did. Oh, I no, absolutely no. did. Is he on the I list? Got, no, in I fact, got. I wrote an entire almost... I wrote about 30 pages about Pat Cooper and yeah, never put I'm it in the book. Yeah, but I'm talking about on the you list. You should put it in the book. You save it for book two. No, you wouldn't have liked it. Why? Excuse because me. Because I, I talked about some of your funnier moments, and you might not want... No, I, I out of respect to you, no, you might not have no, wanted no, no, me to bring them wrong. up. You know why? Because if it's truth, I can accept it. No. 
I wasn't going to do it because you don't no, like to talk about the, your family. I want those pages. No. <laughs> I'll send them to you. I think you'll like them. Yeah. I uh, excuse oh, when you me. tell the truth about me, it doesn't bother me. No, but you know, you, you went through a I lot of stuff on the air. I understand what you're saying, and I respect that. I so thank you. I took them out. But you gave me the one line that made it all for me. I said you're I lowered funny. I my price $40. I said you're funny. I know you did. Did you, you put him on the list of the top, you said the top funniest people. I said the three funniest comics yes. in America yes. were Eddie Murphy, right. Jackie Mason, right. and... Um, uh, Sam Kinison. Sam Kinison. All right, I challenge Where that. is now, Pat's name? I challenge I didn't rate people after three where they exist. No, no, I don't Pat want to be Cooper, after three. No, 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 don't, don't give me after Pat three. Pat Cooper is, is one of the funniest three. comics you will nah, ever you're see. you're copping out, Howie. You're copping out. I'm not going to sit and tell you. You're look, copping out because if I've I got said, no If he was one of the three funniest men in the world, you why, why are you going to embarrass me no, by no, asking me? You made a statement. Yeah. In other words, if you're telling me. Why are you embarrassing me These are the three champs. I challenge the three. One is dead. I challenge the other two champs. That's one. Listen, to be great, you got to go after the champ. Yeah. You are great on radio because you, uh, you, you right. beat everybody. Right, right. If I want to go on radio, right. I got to go after you because you're the right. champ. That's I right. challenge Jackie Mason or your friend Eddie Murphy. I think I can take him on any day, any time, anywhere. Well, wait, yeah, a you're wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Without this an act. This is who I find hold the funniest. Hold it. Hold it. Without an act. Ad libbing. Without an act. I'll out I'd live the boat I was not evaluating. You got me evaluating. I was not hurt. evaluating Listen. them as ad libbers. I'm talking about guys I saw on stage. I'll take them both down. Oh, you're getting jealous like a girlfriend. Well, jealous. you know he does have a point. Thank no, you, my no, dog. No, he doesn't. Thank you. Yes, he does no, have he a doesn't. point. I'll take no, the both of them on any time. I'm sick and tired of this nonsense. <laughs> Look. And I want those pages. Don't F you eliminate them. <laughs> I have them. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about you. <laughs> yep, go ahead. <laughs> it's enough that I say you're funny. <laughs> That's enough? That's enough. Okay. I call you a genius. Don't That's embarrass enough. me. You're a genius, too. I'm not a genius. I'm a life no, guy. a genius. Everyone's a genius. All right. <laughs> All right. There you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, let me say something about Pat Cooper. Yeah, okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm not going to say anything about Pat Cooper. Let's do the news. Yeah, let's do the news. Go ahead, Pat. Okay, my man. Go ahead. <laughs> My man. <laughs> my man. My man, my buddy, my pal. You're funny as hell. Just be satisfied with that. Oh, 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 thank you. You gave me a little bit of a nugget. Oh, oh come on. Nugget. You know I always told you you oh, was a genius. What you're doing you is wrong, Howard. What you're doing is wrong. I was on Broadway. Hold on. What am I doing Hold wrong? I was on Broadway before Jackie Mason. So what? But then don't give me that. If I tell you he's genius. one of the three funniest, accept it. That's no, it. No, I don't accept. I challenge your right to say that. Do you like Jackie Mason? I know comedy. Do you like Jackie Mason? comedy like I know Do you know? Oh, now you know comedy better than I do. 100% because I'm in it. I'm not in it? No, you know. I don't make people I'm laugh for a living? No, 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 no. You're oh. the, no, no. You know what you are? Oh. You know what, what, what am I? What am I? Tell me what I am. A personality. You are a, a tremendous And what are you, Pat? Yeah, what do I'm you do? I'm a comedian. Stand-up comedian. That's all. No more. Yeah, you don't have any personality. No, no. I got a tremendous personality. But he is a personality <laughs> of who has bigger personality? Me. I who do? has the oh, better sure. personality? All right. You thank do. you. Absolutely. That's all I want to know. <laughs> got out of that one already. Right? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you don't get along with Jackie Mason? Is oh, that what you're saying? Commit. I respect him. No, you don't like him, though. Tell the truth. No, 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 no. Don't put words in my mouth. We were partners. We did very well together. I wish him all the luck in the world. I just don't think anybody's funny tonight. That's my but that, that's my way of thinking. Because right. if I do, I'll quit. Right. Oh, that's fair enough. I don't think anyone. But I don't want to hear you say he's the funniest guy in the world. No. I don't like. I that. said my three oh, no, top I got it on comics. Tape. I got it on tape. Pat's when Jackie not was in your here, top you were stroking comics. Jackie Mason. I was. I, like I happen to think Jackie Mason is brilliant. I agree with you to a point, but he's not funnier than me. Then that'll fight you all day long. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Go ahead. Now, what were you partners? <laughs> what were you partners in? You know, you're an angry man. <laughs> <laughs> what were you? What were you? What were you partners in with Jackie? Oh, we were doing comedy together. It was very good. And why do you have to have a partner for that? No, he. It was his idea. I got to say one thing about. Jackie. Jackie oh. puts his money where his mouth is. Right. Now he puts your money where his mouth is. No, 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 no. No, I will say that about because he was he was he wanted to go on Broadway and everything. Right. He always said that. Right. But Jackie and I was like was the Jew and the Italian. It was marvelous. We we drew crowds. Right. And it was good. But Jackie's a kind of a guy he likes to sit up six o'clock in the morning and have his coffee and donuts and talk. Me, I want to go to sleep in. I'll get up in the morning. Right. Face. So you didn't get along as part. No, no, no. You know, and he has his life. I have my life. We decided to go about our life, and he went his way, and I went. I went. I'm over here. <laughs> There's your answer. Does he owe you money? No. He does not. It doesn't owe me nothing. Really? Nothing. Seriously? Nothing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm. Absolutely. What else? He gets young girls? Jackie's a, Jackie's a pretty good stalker when it comes really? to Really? Yeah. <laughs> he's a stalker. <laughs> a stalker, yeah. I can't believe he gets girls. Oh, he's, he, he goes after prey. Forget about it. Really? Him. Jackie's one of the best stalkers I've ever seen <laughs> for a guy that ain't a Cary Grant look alike. Oh, boy, you can say that again. But I'm bringing a point out. You're the woman come after him. He's a really? gorgeous... Oh, well, that's because he's a rich guy. No, it's not because he's... Even before, when things were bad, he was in Florida walking around the beach. Really? Women come after him. I was nice looking women. Gorgeous. Really? Absolutely. 
So who's better in that department? What, uh, uh, me or them? <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. I've been dead at 40. Are you wearing a Porsche t-shirt? No. This was, uh, <laughs> this was given to me by a blind guy. And you are wearing a Porsche. You're wearing a Porsche sweatshirt. Tommy was yellow. I can't believe it. You're really snazzy. Now. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the great Pat Cooper is the here. The great Pat Cooper. And let me... Who let me, uh, not number second one, to two, or three. <laughs> I said who was number one, two, or three. I told you. A dead well, guy Sam, beat out Pat Cooper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam great. is funnier than that. Sam, Sam is funnier than Sam, that. Sam. There you go. Sam, I love Sam. Come on. Oh, stop it. You used to scream about Sam. No, Sam, I love You know what happened? Oh, Sam, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, no, back off. <laughs> it's back off. <laughs> it's on. Oh, you got it. I just want to tell you that. Jackie Martin is a pull the tape. I'll tell you exactly what happened. <laughs> Sam called up the studio when I was here. He misinterpreted what was said. Uh, and I said, Sam, I got to correct him. And he was nice as a pat. I apologize. Right. He All was right. a gentleman. All I right. just feel bad. He's not around to aggravate you. All right. There you go. Spot, spot. Let me take a break. Who the hell is Sam Kennison? I remember him. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, he got upset. <laughs> he likes Sam. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's take a break, Robin. We'll come back. And, and you're on, Robin, with the news. And Pat will right. comment on the news with me. Good. Well, that's, uh, what am I here for? That'll you know, be a lot of fun. All right. Right after these words. I'm number one. <laughs> 60s bought it. Right. See? Pat in here bragging. No, I no no. No, I bought it. I not that I knew anything. I bought, smart. I bought I bought property in Vegas. I just said I'm gonna buy that thing. That thing. Right. They all laughed at me. Put your headphones today? on, you're on the air. Oh, am I on the air? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, because you look at me, you, 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 they got papers showing all over the place here. Wendy. But I mean, I bought land where they claimed me left. And it says dirt. Now it's called property. Right, right. And I'm no genius. I just turn around and say, let me buy that piece of thing over there. Right, you but, you, but someone must advise you. you no, know. no. A guy called my, my counselor to me. He says, Patty, so why don't you buy some gold? That's all right. Well, how do I buy it? Right. He says, uh, I'll get it for you. Right. He bought it in 64, 65. And what, what did you pay for it back then? I don't know. A couple of dollars. Really? Yeah. And now it's worth fifty thousand? No, it's worth about three, three ninety, three fifty or something. Like that. Wow. Boy, that's physical? not a lot of money. It don't mean nothing. That that's my not pocket. a lot of money. That's Everything a lot of money. Everything is on paper. How you don't spend nothing. <laughs> so the guys who made three and a half percent. I said, what am I going to do with it? You give it to the government. You, you, you can't save nothing. Pat Cooper at the Westbury Music Fair. He's right. May twenty first and twenty second. Right. And uh, the well, West Connie Francis. Remember that, like, Signora. Go see him so you can buy more gold. The Westchester <laughs> Broadway Theater in Elmsford on June 26th and 27th. Okay. And, uh, a lot of good things going on for Pat Cooper. Thank Robin, you. what's in the news? Woo. Yeah, Robin, let's go. Well, we have a, another story in the assault on the penis, Howard. Oh, brother. Seems to be a movement. Yeah, sure it is. I told you this was going to happen. Big money, big money in that. A 58-year-old woman who shot her husband's penis oh, after falsely accusing him of a love affair was spared a mandatory prison sentence. <laughs> Wow, can you believe that? She I shot his penis in this. After sick. Hamilton County authorities dismissed gun charges, according to court officials. I'll tell you what's worse than that. This is from the Cleveland Plain Dealer. Uh, oh, you going to Cleveland? Yeah, I got to go. I'm number right. one. Let me know what day you're going to go. I don't want to get involved with your entourage, because I got to... There's a guy, there's an agent out there I got to talk to. So what do you got to do with that? Marty Khan. So you would go at the same time? Are you, you going to go with us? <clears throat> is that what you're saying? I'm saying, if, uh, when are you going? Because I want to I want to, you know, face this guy directly. He, he gave me a job, no contract, no contract, and I lost the date. And he never returns my phone calls. I want to go see him personally. All right, well, very good. Well, that, I, I, can we be there for it? Cleveland, Marty Khan, I'm going to get you. Yeah, I want to go there. All right. He's a skivoza. Well, hey, listen, that's your business with him. I'm sure he's got his side of this. No, he's story. got no side. All you have to do is mention a city pad. We'll find somebody yeah, there to fight like. with. <laughs> Poor Marty sitting there just trying to relax. Oh, you know what gets me crazy? I was on the radio. I won't mention it a couple of days ago, okay? Yeah. I called the shot. I said, this guy says that, that, that's going to get whipped in Singapore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, he was going to make millions of dollars. Right. All right? I picked up the paper today. Now nah, they go, they're inside it. This one wants some, this one wants some, that, and they're going to write his wife's life story. My father whipped my ass for years. I can't make 30 cents. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I don't understand it. There's a guy who's going, don't worry, Ma, I can handle it. Sure, he said, it's already showed him the figures. Can, can I tell you about the woman who shot her husband in the penis? Honey, I'm tired of penis. Bob did it already. Let's talk <laughs> on other things. Well, Let's talk about asses now. Oh, we already power. went to the penis area. <laughs> so go ahead. Turns out right. that she did the shooting shortly after watching the Lorena Bobbitt trial. Of course. Oh, brother. And this is going to unleash a spree of penis shooting. <laughs> and, and, and for her not to go to jail is outrageous. Well, there's a lot of uh, talk out there that women get unequal justice. Oh, really? In uh, this kind of a situation. If a man, Howard it's has true. been screaming that if a man cut off a woman's breasts, oh, he would go to jail. Of course. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. But Lorena Bobbitt cuts off her husband's penis. Well, she's doing tours now. She's on a tour now, this woman. She's, <laughs> yeah. she's got trouble saying dad, dad. She's going to talk to college no, students. the point is that here's a woman that, that broke the law. She, she committed an act of violence. Mm. Guy wasn't doing anything violent to her at the time. And uh, she could have left the house on many occasions. And now here you have a, another example. Well, well, this woman, her, she and her husband were apparently sitting on the couch. Oh, that's romantic. Yeah, very romantic. And then all of a sudden, you know, she got up, went to another room, comes back with a twenty-five caliber pistol, and uh, boom. Was he aroused? I don't know. She At said, least one, "You'll no, never cheat on me again." And fired from six feet away and hit his penis. Well, oh. one good thing he can become Jewish now. He is still recovering, but they have reconciled. <laughs> Oh, they have? Yes, they have reconciled. Oh, oh man. Oh, I love that. He's worse than she is now. What is it, Baba Bonai? Yeah, Baba Bibi. You know, uh, Geraldo uh, was on The Tonight Show last night, yeah. and he was talking some junk Bobo about Bobo Joey Buttafuoco. Yeah. So Joey called, and he said since Robin was talking about penises, he wanted to talk about what a penis Geraldo is. Oh. Really? Lots of free association on this show. It's Joey's joke, not mine. Uh, Joey, uh, but a few ladies and gentlemen, he's upset too because Geraldo won't fight won't him. Won't fight him. Well, Geraldo said on the television he won't fight him because he says that, that this is a criminal and he don't want to donate to his. Nah. Uh, he's so full of baloney. Geraldo, let me say something about, about Geraldo. Geraldo has on his show on any given day criminals. Violence. Violence. He had it yesterday. They were punching each other yesterday. Right. So he makes money off of that. Oh, him? He's the biggest skivos that I got put on us. I told you what I don't like him for many years, and I'm going to get him one day. <laughs> I'm going to get him one day. You can put your life on it. This skivos is fachimigi skivosa. Really? <clears throat> That's what he is. <laughs> hey, uh, Joey. I'm on. Yeah, I know you're on. What's up? <laughs> He's been to prison, you know. What's yeah, up? Yeah, right. What's you know up? Something? It's funny. I'm waiting for that damn recording in jail to go off again, and I keep <laughs> remember I don't have to do that anymore. That's right. So what are you like doing I'm, now? I'm laying down watching the show last night, and I'm listening to uh, Dorado get into his I put Joey behind bars routine. Oh, he's so full. Keep the bars behind bars. That's a bunch of crap, you know. Right, right. That's not the story, and it's. It's just amazing that from going all the way down on himself all the time like that. Well, listen, let me tell you something. Him. Let me tell you something. He's not a man, Joey. Listen, Dad, wait a second. He's not. If you said you would fight Geraldo, right? Right. right. Well, he challenged me. He challenged you. Yeah, it was his idea. He's the bad guy. You know? And now he's saying, this is what kills me, he's saying the wrong thing. And I've said this to him. I said, Geraldo, you're saying the wrong thing. He's saying, I'm not going to fight Joe because uh, Joe, after all, I don't support what he did with um, Amy Fisher. Amy Fisher. Yeah. Does he support what Amy Fisher did to Mary Joe, who's the only true victim in this? Yeah, but what is it? that's not even the point. The point is that this is a guy who makes a living every day <laughs> from having people I on who have done all kinds of interesting, bizarre yes. uh, things. Geraldo, and sometimes illegal things. Geraldo himself used to make it with interns over at ABC. Well, read his book. Yeah. Right. I mean, he admits to all this stuff. So uh, for him to come out and say, look, I don't want to make any money off this. Geraldo doesn't want to make any money off this. That's fine. He can take his share right. of the money when and I donate it. When I make $23 million a year, I'll donate the fight. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And Joe Buttafuoco has every right to make some money off the fight. Geraldo can't tell Joe Buttafuoco he can't make money off the fight. That's, That's up to Joe Buttafuoco if he wants to make money off Absolutely. the fight. Right. The truth is, he's chickened out. He's scared. And he told too many people that he kicked your ass. And you know what? He thought about it, and now he's uh, now he's not into it. And who told you that Geraldo would back out? I did. You were right. Yeah, well, I want did to you tell us happened. that? I said that right away. I said he'll squirm out of this. I don't even care if it is his idea. I don't think he's out of it yet. You know? I don't think he's out of it yet. What do you mean? I just... Uh, Joey, he figures, feet, Joey, but, uh, he figures he's got nothing to gain and that you're the only one that's going to gain by it. That's yeah. how he figures. He doesn't have a chance. He figures, he, whether he wins, loses, or draws, he's a loser, he figures. Well, he is a loser. He's a skivoza, he's a Well, there you go, Joe. Let me know. I love hearing that. I'll take him on. I'll take <laughs> him on, it, and I'm not a fighter. Hey, if you want, you can... Uh, this morning, I figure, well... Geraldo's a giant. Joe, if you want, you can you can fight Pat Cooper. I don't want to fight Pat. In the dark, in the dark, Joey. <laughs> no, no, no. Take him. Come on. And what are you doing now? If I You're do right. fight Geraldo. Does that mean I have to fight Donnie? You next? Well, you know what he's doing. Now he's working with Sugar Ray Leonard. You know. Oh please. Did you know that? Please. Let me tell you something. I'm training. I tra I work out every day. I hit the heavy bag three hours a day. Oh, three hours a day. I got calluses on my knuckles. I'm hitting it very hard. Now what what's the story? Now, Why are you I, training? I think, we don't have a fight. I think he's just scared. I really think he's scared. He's got this 
Puerto Rican macho attitude, and he knows I'm going to kick his Puerto Rican ass all over that ring. Well, there you go. Now all you're right? talking. Now you're talking. Wait, I like it. Now, now, hey, listen. Get into the ring with me. I'm not afraid to get into the ring That's with That's all right. Me. And, what do you do, and what are you doing all day? You, uh, are you working at that car place still? I'm working out. I'm working at the shop. I yeah. have some time in here, but I take a certain block of the day, and I put three hours in the gym. And, what, and, and I hear you gave a good to Mary Jo that night when you got out of prison. Easy. Wow. Easy. What are you talking about? That's, That's why you're in training. <laughs> Married man. I... That's, the stuff. That's the stuff that gets you. Uh, if you don't have legs, you can't fight. So you know what I'm saying. So. Right. Oh, I see. You're really anyway, in training. I really think he's a chicken bastard. All right, he's got a lot of talk, and he's empty. He's like an empty barrel. Guy banging on an empty barrel. Ain't nothing in it. Mary Jo nothing must. He ain't got nothing. Mary Jo must like your bigness now, huh? Huh? You're big now. What's that? Mary Jo must like it. Like what? Your bigness. My bigness? Yeah, yeah, your big size now. You mean my biceps? Yeah, your, your body. <laughs> All right, listen, Come go on, ahead. Be nice. Listen, you keep training, I'll get in touch with Geraldo. Okay, see if you can put this together, because I think he's just blowing himself up again. You know All right, very good. And, um... And let's face it, you know, Mary Jo's the one that paid the big price in this whole thing, whatever happened. Yeah, and, so what's wrong with you going out and boxing? She's a victim, and, and if Geraldo has a concern about where money's going to, I'll give it all to the one victim in this case, my wife. That's all right. right. There, I, there, I, there you, you go. go. No problem, so no problem with that. Bravo, bravo. Let's out of this. Bravissima. Bravo. All right, thanks, man. All right, talk to you. All right, that's Joey Buttafuoco still waiting for his Geraldo fight. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, so don't hold your breath. I don't think so. You think that Geraldo's a big pussy, huh, Pat? Geraldo's not a man. <laughs> well, Remember what I told you. That. The man is not a man. Because anyone that betrays people's person, personal life right. for no reason at all is not a man. Do you, do you trust what I tell you? He's a dog. He'll die a dog. And I ain't going to get him. I'm right. going to get him. What he did to me, I'll never forget him. What he did to my son, I'll never forget him. Right. For no reason at all. Right. Put my son on television to put me down, and I did nothing wrong. But he don't care. You understand? He's right. a skivosa. He was like Chima skivosa. Right. And I will get him. And I told his wife, Cece, over the radio, right on your thing. Cece, when you're born a dog, you can't die a cat. What he did to the other woman, he's going <laughs> to do to you and your kids. He's a skivosa, Sfachima skivosa. You're saying that, oh. you are saying that Cece has Poor still pregnant something. Cece has she still has something to worry about. Born a dog, you can't die a cat. What does that tell you, pal? Are when you these saying, guys said I changed, I'm a new guy. You're a dog, you can't die a cat. Are you saying that you still feel he might he could cheat again? Well, no, forget cheating. He will do to her what he does to everybody else. That's but his Pat, style. He says That's he was his a motor sex What's that? Mo mo motor sparendi. What do they call that? Motor sparendi. Motor sparendi. Whatever they call that. That's his motor sparendi. That's his motor sparendi. Skivos, and you can win when you are skivos. So you uh, you fear for the relationship? The I don't fear. I don't give a damn if he walked out of tomorrow. But right. she's got to learn what she's lives living with. She's living with a skivos. Right. And when you're living with a skivos, you don't change the colors of a of a zebra's. Push. Remember those words. But if he says he's an addict and he's given up his drug. He's not an addict. Ooh. He's not an addict. He's a sfachim. Remember what I told you. liver. See, pumping in the goddamn coffin. You trust oh. what I tell you. <laughs> what Pat Cooper told you. You better believe it. Let me ask you something, though. If you're born a dog, can you die a cat? No. <laughs> no? All right. Very good. <laughs> All right. Let me take a break, Robin. We'll continue with the news. This is really, this is something right after these words. <laughs> We're back yeah. with the Howard Stern Show. As someone faxed me the article I was looking for from Billboard. A member of the House Committee that controls the FCC's purse strings told Commissioner Chairman Reed Hunt that the FCC should slap Infinity Broadcasting with stiffer fines for its syndicated Howard Stern Show. This is Representative Jim Moran, Robin, our enemy. Mm -hmm. If you're going to hit him, Hit him hard, said Representative Jim Moran, Democrat Virginia, during an April 18th Appropriations Committee hearing on the FCC's 1995 budget. It's got to be stiff enough that the publicity value is not more than the amount of the fine. There's a guy who don't even listen to me. He's looking for an issue. He added that Infinity must rein in Stern. Otherwise, others are going to follow his example. This is supposedly a liberal, a Democratic liberal. Yeah, shut him up. Well, this guy don't know who he's messing with. 
Watch what happens to him. He's up for re-election. Let me ask you a question. Why are we being monitored on everything we do lately? Yeah, especially by this guy. But, if, if, you know, you, they, they're going to take away your freedoms. Yeah. Now they got a thing in New York City where they're going to photograph you if you pass a red light. Yeah. Next thing, you're going to have a tattoo on your ass. You yeah, let, let me tell you something. It's terrible. We're getting lots of phone calls from people, <coughs> and uh, they've been calling this <coughs> Representative Jim Moran's yeah. office in Virginia. Good. Yes. And evidently his office is now in an uproar, in, a, in disarray. Good. And this is only the beginning, my friend friend. Representative Jim Moran can expect to hear from my people every, every day. day. And I want to know why this guy has so much free friggin' time that he's busy thinking that this is a big problem. That he has nothing else to concern himself with. And I am going to look and investigate him because I'm going to hit him and hit him hard, just like he told the FCC. I'm going to hit him and hit him hard. And then when I don't hit him hard enough, I'm going to hit him again. I'm going to hit him and hit him hard. Jim Bob, watch. Sit back and watch it happen, baby. You don't know. You're not messing with uh, with some nut. I think he's going to hit him hard. You wait and see what happens. <laughs> Big shot. Big shot, Congressman. Uh -oh. He's going to hit him and hit him hard. You know what? This guy don't even look into what he's talking about. He's got a feud going with G. Gordon Liddy. He's now going to go after me. Doesn't even listen to me. Doesn't even know if I'm obscene or not. And he's going to go after me and, and get on the bandwagon. Some Democratic liberal. You're effing with the best now. You're effing with the best, then you lie with the rest. All my other, all my other so-called enemies. Go get them, Howard. Get them. Kill. Yeah. For the love of killing. Hey, you, let me tell you something, Pat. You can, you can. I'm not doing humor. I'm telling you right now. I said it to no, you. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. For the love of killing. For let the love of killing. Kill these bastards. They I ain't looking to kill. Excuse me. Oh, I ain't looking please. to kill anybody. I don't mean kill, kill in the sense of stabbing with a knife. Right. I mean kill them politically because right. these guys, they take an office, they promise, and they don't keep their promise. They don't. You said you would be governor for three months, and you said after that you're going to leave. All right. That okay. means you're running made up in oh. Westchester. What's the name? Doom, doom, doom. Go on, go on. What is his name there? <laughs> Dan Dworkin. Dworkin. Saint, a hell of a nice guy, by the way. How do you know? Because my friend Vic Arnell plays golf in the movie. He says, Pat, Howard Stern picked the best guy right now. A class, class act. Yeah? And Vic Arnell don't lie. All right. <clears throat> Trust me. My point is, Robin, that a congressman who is going to sit there yeah. after getting elected, and, and this is what he concerns himself with, this is the guy that we got to get out of office. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Go get him. Let's get him. Atta boy. Go for the juggler. Call him, and people are faxing me information on this guy. I'm going to have it all for you tomorrow. Go yeah, ahead, Bob. Like a bet with you. He's going to cop out and say he never said that. Yeah. Well, that's what the office is now saying. They, they're going to look into it. Look into it. He's they, they, they don't understand what article I'm quoting from. Well, there it is. Billboard magazine. There it is. Oh, really? The uh, congressman's staff doesn't know what he does? Well, no, says? because he evidently runs around half-cocked trying to figure out what the hell he's saying. They run around. That's their job to figure out what he just said. <laughs> and let's straighten it out. Yeah, this is a great guy. No, is, I want to know. I want to know this guy's agenda. I want to know what he does all day for the people of uh, Virginia. Don't get nervous. Calm down. Yeah, get nervous. I'll tell you why I'm nervous. This FCC. I'm the guy who started all this syndication. Now I'm the one who can't syndicate because the FCC's on my ass. Everyone's in an uproar and everyone's afraid. And I'm the supposedly. I, I'm the one that's so bad. And all these jackass ripoffs are making money off of my ideas and using my material. But why is allowed to happen if they can turn around on? And I'm the only one. And I'm the only one being targeted here. This is bull. Well, and I want to know where this this creep, Jim Moran. I want to know why this is the most important issue facing him. Because he has no other issues to face. You're damn right. right that's why I said it. Well, stop me from doing business. I'll get we'll stop this. him from doing business. Now he's going to have lots of time to worry about the FCC because he's going to be home after Election Day. Don't get too used to that office there, Jim Bob. Is this his first time in office or no? Who knows? You don't know. I'll know everything on him tomorrow. Guaranteed my audience will research everything. All right, oh boy. I'm going to do a search on every little move. I'm going to know when that every guy farted. Every move he's made. That's it. Every move, move you that make. I make. Pretty baby. Every move that you make. Every move that you take, I'll be watching you. Mm. I tell you, unbelievable. This is a lip service. Me. Oh, I go. Oh, I'm reading Billboard, boy. I went out of my friggin' mind. Don't get nervous. You're gonna get him. No, that's right. right. So things will be turning around. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get him if people learn how to vote. You become governor, you build a bridge, you made a Virginia. You'll straighten him out. Well, he's now in what I call Stern's Goldfish Bowl. Oh, God, that's that's. 
That's not where you want to be. That's dangerous. Pat Cooper at Westbury Music Fair, May 21st and 22nd, and the Westchester Broadway Theater in Elmsford on June 26th and 27th, Robin. Let's go on with the news. Yeah, the Speaking news. Speaking of Alexandria, Virginia, Howard, Aldridge Ames, the uh, most nefarious CIA double agent ever, oh. was uh, in court yesterday, and he pleaded guilty to selling secrets to Russia and was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Let me ask you something. Was he going to be g get life whether he pleaded guilty or not? They could then have them with <laughs> well, the Well, yeah, goods. sure. They had all the goods. Oh, brother. But he just bad. wound up pleading guilty. Uh, they say the reason they were able to make this deal with him to just go ahead and plead guilty uh -huh. is so that his wife can get out yeah. in a uh, less amount of time and be rejoined with their five-year-old son. Well, no, and get... his cooperation with authorities will determine just how much of a sentence his wife gets. Well, she'll get about five years beyond 30 days, and then she'll spy again. What else is left? <laughs> you used to spy on Joan Rivers, didn't you? Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me ask you another question. You brought her up. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, Don't Sally bring Ma. up a name. What? What the hell is a Sally Ma? That's Lenny Bruce's mother. I know that, but right. if you think the world... I was in the Friars, right? 99% right. Jewish people, as I... I asked them, who's Sally Ma? They go, we don't know who's Sally Ma. So what is she digging up a person that nobody gives a damn about? Who was Fanny Bryce? I didn't I, know. Yeah, Fanny Bryce was a genius, <laughs> a lovely, big star. Sally Ma happened to be the mother of a, what probably one of the finest comics So around. what you're saying is, why is Joan Rivers going to Broadway this good day? For what to reason? play the life of Sally Ma? She Ooh. can't play the life of herself. Forget uh, about the Sally Ma. Right. Who the hell is Sally Ma? <laughs> People are geniuses walking the street. She's going to do life for somebody that nobody gives a damn about. She was inspired. Sally yeah. Ma. Why did spy my foot? Oh, I saw the poster there. This woman has something wrong with this woman. Leave me alone with her already. <laughs> she ain't got I enough, didn't bring she her She ain't up. got enough selling $3 million a day. She's making a shopping. She said she ought to be a peddler. Well, Pat she is making a, a point. He's saying, wait, 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 Sally Ma. She's not a Ma, comedian anymore. She's a peddler. Sally Ma's claim to she fame is. is she had a vagina that Lenny Bruce passed through. There you sure. go. And there there's go. a movie in there. You think so? <laughs> I mean, maybe well, he's got a point What there. else could she do? Ooh. This woman, what is she? I you saw don't like Joan, Broadway. right? I saw Joan on Broadway a few years ago. She, she got trouble talking. I'm, leave me alone with this woman here. <laughs> First of all, she's a shopper. She's a peddler. That's what she do. Get on the, te get on the television and sell fish. That's what you should do. You're more concerned about Joan Rivers than this guy who sold out spies in the he Soviet Union. You know why? Don't belittle him. And, I'm tell you why? Uh, uh, caused people to lose their lives. L l l listen to me. That's been going on for, for, for hundreds and hundreds <laughs> since the caveman. They've been spying and spying and spying. Yeah. It's a joke. We right. got spies there. They got spies here. Right. We get caught, then they get caught, then they get caught, and you get caught. It's a big joke. What are you right. carrying right. on right. here? Right, right, right. Everybody's right. spying. He's right. Let me ask you something about the spy case. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you about the spy case for a second. Yeah, Joan Rivers hasn't been around for 100 years. Let's I love when her. he goes off on someone. I don't <laughs> care why. On, I love it. On her. He's right. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The <laughs> life of all the people to do a play of Sally Marr. Yeah. Why wait, can't hey, Joan? I don't and know her the story. Her daughter's in Her daughter's in? in? No, 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 no. no, no that's no, a TV movie. That's the story of Edgar. That's the TV, the TV movie. movie. Are you putting me on? Yeah, they're still picking on that corpse. A boring human being, they're going to do a story on a man? No, no, that no, 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 no. That's no, not a story no, no, on Edgar. No, no. It's a story it's of losing it. It's about what happened a after the suicide. Right. I've lost a lot of things. I wouldn't write a thing about it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Who cares about I Edgar? think you just don't like Joan. No, no, no. Who cares about a story about Edgar? You know how many people die every day that are more important than Edgar would ever be? And she's going to do a story. What, did she want a monument? Who is this woman? Lana Turner? <laughs> this woman here, forget about it, will you please? Okay. Sally Ma. I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the billboard. There's her with a fur coat. I mean, I mean, it's rotten. She looks rotten and looks like a rotten situation <laughs> that she's in. She's rotten. <laughs> Sally Ma. What a joke, John. Why don't you grow up? Will you please take will a you, bet? Will you be going to the play at all? <laughs> yeah, I'll be ringside. Yeah. <laughs> be right up front. Ladies and gentlemen, Sally Ma. What the? And she's going to come here and be in the, in the front row. And sure, I'll be there. She did my life story and I'm a nobody. Right. All of a sudden, she gives birth to, 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 to uh, Lenny Bruce, and Lenny Bruce is gone. It's years ago. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Right, right. You understand? Listen to me. Don't bring back the dead. It's over. We're looking for the living, my well, God. Well, I'm going to see Joan Rivers. She's going to be on the show. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to say, really? Sally Who Mar? Who is Sally Mar? Yeah, you're here to tell you, see, she, 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 she's a martyr. Right. Who else could Joan Rivers do? Right. Who else could she do? Who could she do Lana Turner? No. Could she do Raquel Welch? No. She can only do people that nobody knows because nobody cares about her. Right. So she wants to bring people out of there. She goes, Sally, I'm going to make you an idol. An idol of what? Yeah. You know what's going to happen when the reviews come out? What? They're going to say, what? what are you trying to do, John? Did you crack up? <laughs> Is there something wrong with you? <laughs> ah, we know you lost Edgar. Now if we can lose you, it'll be a happy chance. Oh, right. You, Sally, Marr, and Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me ask you about the spine. Yes. <laughs> On the spine thing. <laughs> 
on the spying thing. Yes. They get these guys. What happened to Sally Ma? You're going back to the spying thing? No, no, thing. Let, me, let me hear this. <laughs> Dude, that was beautiful. You. There's nothing to you add to that. You said everything. You said I'm it. telling you. Forget spies. Let's go after you John You really Rivers. don't like Joan Rivers. I, listen. Why don't you? I forget. Why because don't you? Joan exactly? Rivers, let me think. Joan Rivers always jumps on something at the moment that's popular. All of a sudden, she's a friend of the gays. When there was nobody being a friend of the gays, you know where Joan Rivers was? Oh, yeah. Shoveling garbage somewhere. Right. All of a sudden, somebody says, it's a gay community. And Joan goes, I want to be part but of it. Personally, because what happened between you and her? Uh, Seriously, come on. Yes, yeah, because you're picking on her for reasons I gotta that pick have on her because somebody got to stop this woman who think who she is. <laughs> I mean, and here's my proof of the pudding. When she turns around and does a life service, somebody that nobody gives a damn, look at the strength she thinks she got. She can tell America, I can do the life of anybody, of Harry the Horse on the corner. Right? Right. And they're going to pay attention. Right. She's so full of bull. You don't she think the play up. will do well? You don't think people care about that? If something. that play does well, yeah. I'm going on every show I can get my hands on and I want her to explain to me why is Sally Ma, Sally Ma. Uh, all right, okay. All right, now, listen. Yeah. Obviously, Pat's upset. Maybe with good I'm reason. We don't upset. know. Forget We're not sure what reason. <laughs> I think the name Joan Rivers upsets me. It's upsetting to me. I wrote a play called The Life of Fred Norris. I was going to ask Pat to star in it. Uh, you're not doing Harry the Horse? <laughs> I no. did. I Harry, <laughs> what is Harry the Horse? <laughs> All right, listen to me. I want to ask you about the spy for serious. Yes. Okay, listen to it. What exact <laughs> secrets... Do the Russians want to know? What is so secretive that they need to know? They, this is a country has no well, food. Well, I'm sure that they, at the time, this was a lot of, during the Cold War period, they oh. wanted to know what kind of uh, weapons you, we had, who was a uh, spy in their country. But I thought that, I thought that he was spying now. Oh, yeah, he spied right up to now. Well, what do they want to know? Well, honey, you don't think that uh, all of our... <laughs> honey. <laughs> you don't think that the British don't have spies over here. No, I want to know the what they want to know. French don't have spies over here. They just want to know has, what the government is up to. Has the guy revealed what secrets he gave them? Yes. Well, what are they? I don't know. You go to he any, told listen to them. Me. Listen to me, honey. You go to any modeling, airplane modeling place, you can get plans of all our jet bombers, all our torpedoes. Just go in the store and you got the latest thing that the government invented. You, you don't have to go to realize, Pat, that <laughs> go our government store. is doing things that go we don't store. know about. What's you go to the airplane place. What do you call those? The, the, the airplane the, store. The airplane store is where they make models. <laughs> yeah, right. You, say, you got the model of the thing, the 97 with the 416 <laughs> and the 395. Give me the stealth yeah. bomb. I want to put it together. I'm going to send it to Russia. And Maybe the Russians want to know why you're so angry. That's yeah. what they want to know. <laughs> What's That's a pet's it. butt? <laughs> I love these guys. All right, go ahead. Go go ahead. Give me some other stuff. I told you, he stuff. gave them right. the names of other people who oh, were spying, about and these this people guy. were put to death, <laughs> and so death forth. Death. Right, gotcha. and Gotta feed this bass for 35 years. He said that he regretted <laughs> greatly what had happened, but even his own lawyer said that <laughs> mostly his that regrets story. are about being caught. Yeah, he uh, lived like a millionaire. This is the worst part of the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he was